In this video today, I'm thinking we're going to talk about how do you choose an insulation contractor. Spray foam is a technical trade. It takes a skilled applicator to apply it properly. So there's a lot of things you gotta consider in this. Number one, never shop for insulation based on price alone. If you're basing it on price alone, you're always gonna use fiberglass or a conventional method that's gonna be cheaper. You don't go to McDonald's and expect to get steakhouse quality food. We all know that. If someone is way cheaper than the competition, they are not giving you the same thing. That's pretty much a guarantee. Even if they're applying the same product, you know they're not paying the guy installing it a good wage to do that. So what does that mean? If you pay people better, you get a higher quality worker. Someone that loves his job, someone that cares about his job. You also have things like, what about their safety plans? Are they taking care of their employees? We've seen competition out there on job sites that are not even wearing respirators while well, they're in the house with the sprayer. That's something that really makes us sad to see that happening in the industry. The lack of regard for human life. So make sure they have a good safety plan or are taking care of the respirators. Also, sometimes we'll have someone come to us and say, hey, we got a quote for foam, it's way less than yours. And we ask, what are they spraying? Find out they're spraying a hybrid foam. So there's open cell foam, there's closed cell foam. Typically it's a 0.5 pound foam, which is like a half pound per cubic foot versus two pounds per cubic foot in a closed cell foam. A hybrid foam is somewhere in between. Anything less than a 1.7 pound foam is not a closed cell. Some of these companies are selling these 1.2, 1.3 pound foams as closed cell. All things you gotta watch out for. Another thing, are they a member of the SPFA? The SPFA, is the largest spray foam group, governing group in the United States. It's helping our industry be strong, take care of us. There's training programs through that. If, these, if they're not members of any of these programs, are they getting the proper training to ensure you're getting what you deserve? Another thing about spray foam, what does the finished product look like? It's insulation in your walls. It does not have to look perfectly smooth and flat and awesome. But if it's super rough, super bumpy, and there's gaps in there where you can see the stud surface, that tells you that the person spraying it was not, did not know what they were doing. So if they don't know what they're doing, how do they know that they're applying proper, good, on ratio foam? That's a problem. If something's off ratio, that could cause problems for the life of the home. So just remember, shop around when you're looking for an insulation contractor, but definitely do not go based on the cheapest price alone, or you are setting yourself up for a potential disaster. I will say that nine times out of 10 when there's been a spray foam insulation issue, it's because they went with Mr. Cheap Guy, and they got what they paid for. Failure. So I hope that helps you out a little bit. We would love to talk to you more about this, this subject. This is something that's hard to address in a short video because there's so many different variables in it. But those are some thoughts on it. And um, any more questions, you can call us here at Spray Foam Solutions, 330-828-1977 or leave us a message on Facebook, YouTube, and we'd be glad to answer those questions for you. Thank you, and you have a great day.